Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack. Welcome back to another top five video for season two, where we look at everyone's best skins that they have. And today, what we're gonna be doing is looking at Zinya's top five best skins. So, oh, Bro You Whack, you're not gonna complain about Soldier not getting picked again? You know what? I'm kind of past that. I've accepted that Soldier is a meme. All right, I've accepted that. I've kind of influenced that he's a meme because I don't ever get his gold gun. But you know what? You know what I have to say about that? You guys are gonna regret it. Okay, you're gonna regret not picking Soldier. What I'm gonna do? I don't know, but you're gonna regret it. But moving on, today is another fun episode of the Top 5 Series for Season 2, where we once again look at a single individual hero's best skins. And as you saw from last week, we had Soldier versus Zenyatta, and Zenyatta won by a landslide. I mean, go figure. But one thing I have to say about Zenyatta, he is totally underrated in terms of his skins. Most people harp about D.Va and Genji, or I don't know, uh, Sombra possibly having some of the best skins. Zenyatta? His skins are A1, dog, an underrated hero, underrated skins, just, oh, oh my god, he's a great hero, man. <laughs> but before we get on to homie Zenyatta's skins, I need you guys to vote for next week's top five video. Vote in the top right-hand corner for Soldier 76 or Symmetra. Symmetra and Soldier literally have no correlation other than the fact that they both start with S. I try to make every single poll cute, have some sort of tie-in, that's the tie-in for this week. So if you want Symmetra, vote for Symmetra. If you want Soldier, vote for Soldier! Vote for Soldier if you want Soldier. But now it's that time when we look at Zenyatta skins going from 5 to 1. And if you have a different list, I always encourage you guys to not only vote, which I definitely encourage you to do, but do also leave a comment down below what your favorite skins are for the hero that we're talking about this week. So let's talk about Zenyatta. Let's talk about his underrated skins. And let's just put some love on Zenyatta, bruh. The first skin that we're going to be looking at is one of Zenyatta's simplest skins, but it's that color palette, man. The color scheme that he has, mwah, so beautiful. And this is gonna be carbon fiber coming with the blizzard world event Which I know it's not an actual event, but came with a map. It came with a set of skins It's basically an event came this skin for Zenyatta and I was kind of confused because I didn't know why he got the skin But then I looked at it. It's like nah, it doesn't matter. It's a green and black skin Whatever you have an all black skin with maybe green details red details or maybe even white details It's gonna be a fire skin nine times out of ten and this is definitely no exception But a lot of the times I say that this is like uh, the poor man's huge Houston Outlaw skin because it's the same exact color scheme and it looks pretty close to the Houston Outlaw Zenyatta skin. So if you want a green and black color scheme for Zenyatta but don't want to wrap the uh, the Houston Outlaws, maybe because you're a Dallas L fan, then you can go with this skin. <laughs> but this next skin is anything but simple. In fact, it's probably, uh, I don't know, man. Zenyatta has a lot of creepy skins. What I'm trying to say is that this skin has a creepy side to it and this is going to be Sang Zang. Hopefully I said that right. I have trouble pronouncing all these Chinese names. But coming with the 2017 Chinese New Year event came this skin for Zenyatta and Man, I gotta say, his current tour game is on point, brother. I don't know if he has a CoverGirl sponsorship or what, but he looks like he is moisturizing every day, going to bed upon clouds or whatnot because he doesn't have an imperfection in sight. But it also seems a little bit creepy because it is so perfect. <laughs> Whenever it comes to Omnix and giving them more human-like characteristics, it's always gonna make them look a little bit creepy, and this is no exception because when you look at Zenyatta, yeah, it is a face, you know it's a face, but it's completely different than just a normal human face. Here, you can distinctly see the eyes, the nose, and also the big bulging lips, and also the cheekbones. My god, he has some nice cheekbones. Other than the fact that his face is beautiful yet creepy at the same exact time, the rest of his attire and the rest of the skin still shares that Zenyatta-like vibe. I mean, his actual clothes, his robe, his cloak, whatnot, still has that same monk, zen look to it, hence the reason why is name is Zenyatta. But my favorite part about the skin, which is such a weird thing to love, is gonna be those like green dreadlocks that you see going from his ears. I, I don't know what you call it, we'll just call it his green locks of love, because <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Because throughout the skin, you see all these autumn colors, orange, red, brown, and then you just see green. But for whatever reason, the green looks good with this skin. And his orbs, while I haven't mentioned his orbs yet, this is something that's gonna be heavily, <laughs> heavily determining the place of all these skins. The orbs are pretty fire too. Nothing too crazy, but it's just a solid skin with that creepy aspect to it. <laughs> All right, on to number three, what I feel like is gonna be probably everyone's favorite skin if they just now recently started to play Overwatch. One, 
because they just recently started to play Overwatch and they probably just got the skin and this is their only legendary Zenyatta skin. Or maybe it's because they play baseball. Spoiler alert, at number three, it's gonna be fastball. <laughs> when I made my top five best 2018 summer game skins, I put this skin at number four and so many people got upset. So many people thought this should have been at number one. They thought, oh, why did you put it so low on the list? But I ended up putting it at number four. And the reason why I put it so low is one, there were two baseball skins and I was a little bit biased towards catcher Winston. But the second reason is because I thought he should have received a basketball skin. Now while his orbs are the exact same size as baseballs and if they would have given him a basketball skin where the balls were a lot smaller, yeah it might have looked weird but at least you would have gotten a wide range of different sports and not have the two same sports in the form of skins but it's still a great skin. I think people misunderstood what I was trying to get at when it came to putting that skin at number four. It's a great skin. It was just a missed opportunity man. And in all honesty I'm probably going to get the same exact response for this skin. Oh Fastball Zenyatta is his best skin. This should be at number one. Tr trust me there are better Zenyatta skins. Th that's not to say that this is a bad skin. Again, when it comes to Zenyatta skins, they're very underrated, but guaranteed, if I were to ever make a top 25 best Overwatch skin list, all three of these Zenyatta skins are gonna be somewhere in that list. But I have to put something at number three, and I chose Fastball Zenyatta because I, I just, I, you'll see why I'm gonna explain with the next two, but this skin is very beautiful. It's what you come to expect for a baseball Zenyatta skin. I like the little Iris team that he's rocking on his jersey. That was a nice little touch. He's wearing nice white pants, which I guess he's riding the bench because they should be dirty. He's wearing stirrups, but I love his orbs, man. His orbs, like with the blue stitching especially, goes perfect with the golden orbs. If only I had this skin on the account that I have the golden Zenyatta orbs, but unfortunately I don't have it. And then his baseball hat, he's wearing a, a mask, which you don't normally wear during baseball, but again, he's an Omnic, so I'm kind of glad they didn't really give him a mouse. So yeah, this, this is a fantastic skin. Very underrated, but there were just two better skins. But my boys, I had to put something at number two, and I went back and forth to decide what was the number one skin because both of these next two skins are special and fantastic and amazing in their own special way. But one is classic and the other one isn't, so at number two, I decided to go with Cultus. Coming with the 2017 Halloween event came this very, very scary skin, but it's not creepy, okay? It's intentionally supposed to be scary. One, because it's the Halloween event, and two, because it's inspired from Cthulhu. And I I don't think I ever talked about this, but the only reason why I know who Cthulhu is is because of that South Park episode where Cartman befriends him because, well, they kicked him out of his superhero group. It was... <laughs> It was such a stupid episode, but that's the only reason why I know who Cthulhu is, and they got it pretty spot on as terms of a Zenyatta skin. I don't exactly know who Cthulhu is inspired from. I'm gonna guess an octopus because when you look at Cthulhu and also Zenyatta, you're gonna see those like octopus tentacles hanging from the mouth. Oh, it's oh they move. It's so grimy and creepy, but still so cool at the same exact time. They replaced his omnic flesh with more purple octopus-like flesh, and also his clothes too. I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing with this clothes but I'm loving it but I think you know why I'm putting this skin at number two it's his orbs they literally have moving eyes in them and with the golden orbs <laughs> you can you cannot go wrong with getting this skin if you have the golden orbs. I think another reason why I really like this skin is because when you look at Zenyatta, he is such a nice guy. He looks like he's just wanting the best out of you. He's so supportive. And then out of nowhere, he has a skin that's so scary, so menacing, and inspired from a creature that's supposed to destroy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> what, 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 the, what did you do to Zenyatta? I like it, but what did you do to him? <laughs> but it's not the number one Zenyatta skin. And the biggest reason why I put this at number two, when it could easily be at number one, is because it doesn't have history, it doesn't have a story, and it's not a classic skin. If you played Overwatch, like when you first played Overwatch around the 2017 Halloween event, you probably think this is better than number one. But if you played around the 2016 Winter event, then you probably think that Nutcracker is the best Zenyatta skin of all time. I'm just gonna come right and say it his nuts. He has nine total nuts floating around his neck. And if that doesn't <laughs> motivate you to get this skin, the golden nut should be the biggest reason why you should not only get this skin, but also get the Zenyatta golden gun. Word to Astro Kitty, but you get Z golden nuts. Astro Kitty, why aren't you posting more Overwatch? You were my inspiration for them funny moments. Serious, come back to me, baby. But going back to the skin, this skin is so classic. It's caused so many memes, but they were good memes. They weren't really making fun of Zenyatta. They were joking with Zenyatta because they have nuts floating around his neck and then if you have the golden nuts 
you have the golden nuts! <laughs> Not to mention the skin itself is fantastic. Again, when it comes to Zenyatta, he seems like a nice guy. He doesn't really have that creepy vibe. And then all of a sudden, what, what kind of face this is, bro? Blizzard, what did you do to Zenyatta? I still like it. But what did you do? His face is giving you that deathly look. It's like, I'm not going to kill you personally, but trust me, you will die someday. <laughs> That was really morbid, man. But moving away from the rest of the face, it's inspired from an actual Christmas Nutcracker. I mean, what more could you ever want with a Nutcracker Zenyatta skin? Oh wait, I know! Golden Nuts, baby! <laughs> I know I keep talking about the Golden Nuts and it's getting annoying, but in all reality, the, the, the Nuts, the outfit, the face, everything about this skin just brings me back to 2016. That was my very first Overwatch event was the winter event. So when I saw this skin, it's like, man, I just really want 3,000 creds to get this skin and I wasn't able to but then the next event around uh, I was finally able to get the skin and I, I was very happy because again every time I look at the skin it just reminds me of the old days of when I played Overwatch when I first played Overwatch when I was stuck in silver when I was stuck in gold and I don't know it just it brings me back and you know I, I just really appreciate it. so let me know what your favorite Zenyatta skins are make sure you vote for next week between Symmetra and Soldier 76 and I'll see you guys next week so I love you guys Thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come, and bye.